Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting video. We are back in Archean, and that is how you say it. I looked it up, and that's what Google told me. So we can say it the correct way right off the bat. So this is just a quick tip video, kind of a short video, but I want to show you some things that the developer added and that the developer told me after watching my video. So let's uh, first start with the graphics. I'm running currently in 120 frames. No, 110 now. I'm running a 4K monitor, so if we hit Alt, that'll give us our mouse control. We can come down to graphics. Now, usually I think when you first install the game, it's probably at medium. And okay, let's switch to medium here. And so this is probably like that, really tiny. So some features that were just added like last week were the ability to first off, come into graphics and upscale your UI. The second one is if you go ahead and you're getting some low frame rate right now, we're getting 50. We can go down here and change medium to low and that, that's going to change it to low graphics. Again, I'm running on 4K and we're still at 60 frames per second. So what we can do is now go into custom after we go to low. So you want to pick your setting and then go into custom because it will automatically keep those settings for low and then you can do one more adjustment which is the upscaling value. So usually this will be checked, I think, by uh, default. Again, still at 60 frames per second. And uh, what we want to do is uncheck this and just bump it up to about two. Here we're around two is good. And then the frame rate will start doubling. And there we are, we're almost to 100. You can even bump it up a little more, depending on how grainy I'm willing to accept. And now we're at 100. Uh, so there you go, I'm at what, 2.2? 2.2. Uh, so that's important to know. And see, we look around, we got some good graphics, and we got 100 frames per second, and we are at 4K. Now, if I were to resize a window, let's see if I can resize a window here, so that I'm not running 4K. I'm just gonna make my window smaller. You cannot see this, but I'm probably running, I don't know, maybe, I don't know what the actual size is. Maybe it's, uh, 1920 by 1080, maybe a little bit bigger or smaller. But uh, if I go ahead and look now, I'm getting 200 frames, 230 frames per second because I'm not running in 4K anymore. So if I change my monitors to 1920 by 1080, it would be running very smooth and looking great. But right now I'm running 4K and I shrink down the window. So now that I'm blind, uh, it's really running really well, but I can't see. But uh, I'm gonna go back to 4K because I think 100 frames per second for me is good enough. Let's just hit that mouse button. Boom. And there we go. We're back at 100 frames per second. Okay, so with that out of the way, look at all these rocks. Oh my gosh. And what's crazy about this game is all these rocks, you can pick them up. Every single one of these rocks is something that you can pick up. You know, in most games they have clutter and you can only pick up like the big rocks that are like, oh, that's a big rock. I can pick that one up. No, every tiny, itty, itty, bitty rock is uh, able to be picked up into your inventory. And if we look down here, right, right here, we have the rock. And it has, I picked up carbon, uh, copper, iron, silicon, and tungsten all in that thing. And then, of course, I think I showed you this before. If we want to... Go ahead and break this down come over here we drag our rocks over to this area here and crush them and that's for the adventure mode because we're going to build all these crazy components which we need, really need to play but there look there's my copper there's my iron did i get something else because i didn't have enough so there we go so let's go ahead and do the other tips real quick this is not tips for adventure mode i haven't played it yet okay so Let's, let's get out of these rocks. There's too many rocks. Who says that? Too many rocks. Okay, so we're gonna come over here. And when I was building, the developer noticed I had some issues. So the first issue I had was, let's bring out the plane. And there it goes. Is that I put it on the ground, right? I, I slammed it on the ground. Are you not gonna fall? Oh, you're really slowly falling down. <laughs> ha, I know why too. Because what I did, is uh the developer said that he hated my plane how it flew <laughs> oh it hurt my feelings the problem with my plane is is it has these thick wings here 
which are basically, right, you know, like heavy blocks, right? So it doesn't fly like a plane because in this game, it tries to simulate the air flowing over the bricks. And so I'm basically like what, like a brick wall trying to stop the wind. So it doesn't really fly that great. And I kind of cheated with the gyro to make it fly. But uh, in this latest version, I threw in some, oops, am I in the right mode here? Yeah, I am in the right mode here. I threw in uh, some ailerons inside the wings that don't do anything. They just are in here, you know, and they make it fly a bit more stable, kind of, sort of. Really, so I haven't figured out the flying mechanics yet quite yet. But here are some tips. Uh, so first off, uh, the problem I had is I forgot the tail wheel, right? I was like, oh, how do I put the tail wheel down? I can't lift it up. Well, one way to do it really quick is we could put this here and then we can just actually roll this down and it'll go under the ground, right? And then we can let go and look, it popped it up so I could get to the bottom, okay? But there's an even easier way to do this. So let's say that my build is like stuck here on the ground, right? I'm like, all right, all right. oh, it's not gonna go. But anyways, my build's stuck on the ground and you know what, I wanna lift it back up and I wanna like change things. How do I do that, you say? Well, you probably didn't say that, but I said it. And this is how you do it. So we're just gonna say, pretend like we we're building this thing and it, you know, we needed to save it again. So we'll save it again. We'll left click hold. Once you hold it for three seconds, you let go. And then we can have this uh, demo here. So we'll create demo. There we go. It's now in here. Another feature that was just added is we can go over here, we can hit V and we can delete this build. So this is a new feature as well, just added. So that's gone, but we saved it as a blueprint. Now, let's well, got the rock skin. We want to put it back. But what I want to do is I want to set it up. I want to get it up off the ground, right? Up off the ground. So I'm going to put a frame, hold for three seconds, left click, and then I can add some of these, right? There we go. Uh, is that good? I think I want a center block. Let's, let's do a center block. Just, whoops, not there. Like that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's get rid of this one. I'm just trying to make it look cool. Okay, like that. Now, let's jump up here, hit J to put our uh, backpack on, and then we're just gonna go ahead and make a wall. And we're gonna make this wall really heavy. Let's make it out of lead, okay? So now this thing is not going anywhere. It's too heavy. And let's grab some blocks, and we're just gonna click and drag. And I'll show you something with that again that we should know, but sometimes we forget. So now I've got my little platform here. It's heavy, it's not going anywhere. I hit six to get my blueprint out, uh, right click, and now I'm gonna spawn the demo. Now, see how it's like floating around? If I look at this block, look at that, it pops up on it. So if I left click and then I roll my mouse, I can spin it around and then I'm gonna go ahead and let go. And now I have my plane up on blocks, right? Look at that. Isn't that useful? That's useful, right? That is very useful. So we can go ahead and delete these blocks in case we want to get around a little bit better. And now I have a platform that I can work on my plane. It's heavy. It's not going to move. And if it, you know, is not heavy enough, we'll just add more. But this is how we can go ahead and build up. I think this is even better than the lifting the tail wheel up. This is like the way to build, I think. Okay. And then let's just delete that. Look at that. Now we have a airplane toy display, which is kind of cool. And then of course, after we're done, we can go ahead and delete this. Okay, cool. Right? Right? I think so. All right, let's do one more tip that uh, is for building. Okay, let's say that we have this beautiful wall. No, we don't have a wall yet. Let's have this beautiful wall. And where's the sun? Sun's over there. Okay, so let's do it over here. Okay, so here is Kind of a thing to remember about this game and i kind of showed you in the building the other day but i want to make sure that we all get it down because it's uh it's kind of important okay i'm just gonna add a wall there show okay so i showed this before when i was building but it's important to remember because if you don't remember it, it kind of drives you crazy if you're not thinking about it okay so the, the wall that you place this on if i push here Okay, I now clicked. Okay, now if I drag it up, down, left, right, 
that is just my mouse, right? This is just my mouse movement. Now, if I want to extend this block outwards, I roll my mouse, okay? And then I can adjust the size and roll my mouse. I can just keep doing that, and that's the max size, right? Okay. Now, I find that when I'm building, the best way to do it is have a block on the side if you're building something like the plane. Because, let's just say that we want to like extend this wall. We just want to click on this left side, right? Let me just click on this left side and drag it, right? That's how we want to build our plane, usually in long things. Because this mode, if we delete this, this way, I can't, I can't drag it to my tail end, right? Or my boat end, whatever I'm trying to build long ways. Because I have to use this. And then as soon as I look left, see that messes up my view. So if you're building, best thing to do, make sure you have a block that you can just stretch to, right? And then you're you're stretching all your blocks long ways towards your boat end or your plane end, whatever it is. And that's easier for me. I think the mouse roll is more of a pain when you're like close up, like, oh, I started there. Now I gotta try to come over here. Oh no, now it's it's getting big. So yeah, I think the tip here is build the sides and just have that break. Does that make sense? Let me know your preferred way of building, but I love just dragging to the left. And if I need to come out, then I can do my mouse wheel. So there you go. So I think that is it for today. I might be missing a tip, maybe, but I don't know what it is. So if I remember, I will let you know in the comments below. The only other tip maybe is F4 will bring up in an admin panel, which I didn't know about. You see it on the top left here. And if we bring down entities or players, we can see who's in the game. If we kick our friends if we want. But what's cool about this is, look at this. We can see how far it is, the weight, and we can teleport or delete it, which is good. So like sometimes, I'll be playing and I'll lose a plane off in the mountains and I'll just forget about it. It doesn't really affect the, like, it doesn't impact really the frame rate at all. This game doesn't care about the number of builds almost. I mean, to some extent it does. If there's a lot around and you've got a lot of glass, your frame rate's going to drop because it's calculating the, uh, the refraction and a lot of stuff through the glass. Or if it's shiny, you know, the reflections. So that will impact it. But if you're building pretty much matte and not using windows, the game doesn't really care about the builds. Almost. Like, I mean, look behind me. Look at that thing over there. That's huge. And the game doesn't care. It's not like I'm, if I jump, I'm not going into the, to Stormworks Moon Gravity here. So that's pretty cool. Anyways, let me just show you this real quick. I, I got sidetracked. But let's just let's teleport to this 70. Now, it doesn't have a name. What would be nice here is if we could see or name the vehicle and then we knew exactly what it was if we could name it. Uh, so right now they don't have names, but that would be a cool thing, right? But anyways, let's teleport to this one. What I teleport to? I teleport to my testing rig here. Okay. What else can we teleport to? Uh, 96 meters. Oh, there's my giant boat. Okay. Uh, let's see. 1800 meters. We are back in the plane. <laughs> Let me get out of the plane. There you go. So we're back at the plane. So there you go. Very cool, right? I like this feature to be able to just teleport to the vehicles. And, uh, oh, I didn't know I was that far away. But yeah, I'm that far away. So anyways, things to remember. This game does require RTX. You need an RTX card, at least a 20 something, right? A 2060, 2080. I'm running a 2080, and right now I'm getting at 4K, 115 frames per second. But again, if I run a 1920 by 1080, I can almost double that frame rate. So there you go. And also, important to remember, this is not Stormworks 2. This is not trying to be Stormworks at all. This is its own game. The fact is it has block building, it has modding support. It does have a developer that is interacting with the community. Maybe if the community gets too big, the developer will stop interacting with the community. I don't know, but right now, this game is still getting new features. This game is being updated almost daily. And again, the developer is in the Discord, talking to people, listening to people, getting feedback, and, you know, takes in consideration what you're saying. So like, if the developers don't agree with what you're saying, they're not rude to you, they don't ban you, 
Uh, wait, let me check real quick. Hold on. This way. No, 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 no. I have not been banned yet. Okay, that's good. So yeah, the developers don't ban you, at least yet. So I'm doing pretty good on this one. So go check out the store page. The links are in the description. Also is the Discord where you can talk to a developer who's usually in there talking to folks. And you'll meet some other folks. Actually, you'll meet some folks from Stormworks as well. So you might know a few people in there. So this is your chance to go interact with a developer uh, almost on a daily basis, which is really weird, right? Like instead of just a Q&A where you're like a random question. I don't know, man. It's kind of nice. So anyways, I'm Endo, this is Arkean, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know by leaving a dislike or like, a uh, comment, whatever you want, and I will see you next time. Should we do a dramatic flyby? Let's try this. Dramatic flyby. Whoops. Dramatic flyby. I'll see you next time.